Typhoon Utor is currently located just to the east of the Philippines at the moment as a 105 mile per hour category 2 storm intensifying quite rapidly at the moment. Pressure's 956 millibars. Current position is 14 degrees north, 128.2 degrees east, and it's expected to move towards the west-northwest, moving into Luzon in the Philippines, possibly as a Category 3 typhoon, and then moving out to sea in the South China Sea, and then uh, re-intensifying possibly to a Category 2 storm before making landfall in China. Uh, signal 1 warnings are currently in place for parts of Luzon in the Philippines, mainly along the eastern coast, you can see them right there, um, and those are likely to be upgraded, upgraded to signal 2 or higher um, as time goes on, obviously, um, as the storm bears down on the Philippines. The sea surface temperatures um, in the path of the storm are fairly warm at the moment, 29 to 30 degrees generally, certainly right before further intensification. And as said, the storm could make landfall with winds of, say, 120 miles per hour, maybe, um, maybe even more than that, perhaps, if the storm really intensifies over the next 24 to 48 hours. Um, certainly a situation, and certainly a storm that could cause lots of um, damage, wind damage in particular, uh, with more than 100 mile per hour sustained winds at least and um, also flooding as well because it's a, a fairly broad system you can see it moving along here in the uh, Pacific Ocean satellite imagery in the past 24 hours it's been moving towards the west northwest um, and especially towards the north of the storm there's lots of spiral banding meaning that there could be lots more rainfall for northern parts of Luzon as well um, which could lead to flooding obviously with the heavy rainfall that would be associated with the storm you can see on the satellite imagery here the floater imagery a bit of an eye forming um, in the past 24 hours not a clear one but you can certainly see it moving uh, towards the uh, west northwest over the past 24 hours um, and that will probably pop out a little bit more um, clearly over the next 24 hours if it continues to intensify current winds 105 miles per hour as said uh, likely to become a category 3 typhoon in the next uh, 12 hours or maybe even less than that depending on how rapidly it continues to strengthen but certainly a, a very large amount of strengthening that has occurred in the past 24 hours so looking at the world tropics then august 10th um, as of now, we currently have Henriette out there in the Eastern Pacific, well, the Central Pacific now, and 92E lo currently located in the Eastern Pacific, the Invest. Uh, Utor, of course, moving towards the Philippines, and Invest 97W in the South China Sea. More on those coming up uh, this evening in the Tropical Weather Bulletin, which will also cover Utor in more detail as well. Um, this is the Pacific Ocean. You can see how they're all uh, located, uh, all the systems. 92E currently with a medium chance of development, as has been the case for quite a while. Henriette weakening, moving towards the west southwest at the moment so 2013 compared then uh, utor is the 10th tropical storm in the western pacific the third typhoon and uh, may become the second category three storm or higher uh, in the western pacific so we're four off the 69th place 2010 which is the quietest on record so far and um, it's likely to overtake that not too far from now in, in terms of time periods um, I certainly don't think that 2013 will end up bottom because we're only in August at the moment um, and we'll probably pass that in due course. Uh, don't forget you can track this storm at the website force13.com forward slash storm tracking there'll be updates throughout the evening um, as well as the bulletin which will be coming up at around midnight tonight UTC on the beginning of the 11th of August um, and you can also see us elsewhere on the web Facebook and Twitter force13 is on both of those mediums um, just search us you should find us easily enough and um, um, stay up to date and uh, the next bulletin will be coming up at around midnight UTC that will be bulletin number 59 uh, which will be covering the world storms but of course Utah will be covered more in depth as well um, but oh, that's all for now